infrastructures in a horizontal farmers community. I guess one thing that all of us have in common is that we all are in special communities. We want to build better communities, we want to build better infrastructure, and we want to build better technology. Be it in a little hacker space in Sweden, or in a theater group in France, or in an NGO in Germany. That is something that unites us all. And our next speaker, Andrea, she is giving us some insights into their farming community in Italy, because she has 15 years of experience with that, so I think we can all learn quite a lot. And Andrea is self-taught web developer, She graduated in communication sciences. She's also a cook, and she is part of a group of radical farmers. So I would say she's a little bit of everything, a jack of all trades. So she's the best person to give us some insights. So please welcome Andrea with a big, warm round of applause and enjoy this talk. Thank you very much. Well, thanks uh, to you, to everyone, to stay here will be difficult to fit in a 30 minute to explain uh, the experience and to explain uh, the, mm, the interaction between a lot of different communities, not only this experience in Bologna. But okay, I will speak about Campi Aperti. Campi Aperti means open field in Italian. And I come from Bologna. Okay, Bologna, if you imagine that this is Italy, it, uh, it's here, Bologna. <laughs> I'm uh, speaking about uh, growing uh, vegetable, growing organic food. Uh, this is a community of uh, farmers. Uh, it's a community of, uh, um, of people that uh, reclaim the rights to grow our, grow our food and decide how the territories, the land, the countryside is uh, transformed. And um, so is a direct action. There are... Um, There are uh, some um, reclaims, we reclaim to change uh, some law, but uh, uh, we are not waiting that uh, this law in Italy are changed, but uh, we uh, do directly the stuff. The stuff is uh, survive for farmers, because uh, uh, the problem is that uh, there exists only law in Italy that are for the transform the food, for make pizza, bread, beers and this stuff, and uh, only are made only for uh, industrial uh, industrial. Uh, production. Uh, so the production uh, of uh, unmade and of a farmer um, is uh, there, there are no law for this. You can't uh, do sell. You can't do direct sell. But this group of farmers do this stuff, and uh, and so they have uh, a political action uh, real in the street in the square and uh, the. the The, most, uh, the, the more visible uh, stuff that they do is uh, do these uh, organic, f uh, organic marks, markets, but uh, it's not only this. It's uh, uh, political uh, stuff, and uh, these uh, put uh, the, their background and their roots in a radical uh, anti-capitalist uh, group and uh, from uh, the no global movement uh, in, uh, in the 90s. So, uh, where, where this stuff happen? Happen in places that are free. Uh, because uh, you can't ask uh, at the beginning, uh, 15 years ago, you can't, uh, but also now, now my, probably it's more difficult, you can't ask uh, uh, to municipality to start uh, this kind uh, of markets. And they found a uh, good uh, ground in a squat, in square, in the street, in places that uh, are... Um, managed by, by human agreement and not law. And so Campi Aperti was born in 2003 in XM24 in Bolognina. That is a, an, a shared, is an occupied public shared space, self-managed by a community. It's not a service. It's a, a place where the needs of a community and the answer to, the needs, to these needs uh, find an answer and a resolution. And this place uh, is, um, is under the threat of eviction, and, uh, and uh, we support uh, a lot uh, this place. <laughs> and are really, really important in, for our life. So, I told you where, and uh, I want also to tell you uh, how, not how, only not 
how after um, when the time the time uh, it's uh, an important uh, stuff um, the time for uh, capitalism is uh, thinking in uh, hours and money uh, but uh, and uh, it's fast but uh, this is uh, is, and uh, is uh, shaped on uh, you on uh, okay, an uh, egocentric idea, but uh, this is not the only way to think uh, the the time. For farmers, is, uh, for farmers, is really easier think that time cyclical, uh, uh, in not uh, egocentric, uh, not. Uh, human-centered way, uh, and so they are habits to plan the stuff and uh, to take a seasonal uh, agreement or seasonal uh, planning. And so uh, the first uh, stuff to rethink our life and our community is uh, take our time, our time to, to grow relationship and our time to think uh, how to do the stuff and uh, our time when uh, we, we, bought some, we buy something, our time to think where came from the stuff that we buy and the stuff that we eat, in which uh, in how, how are developed and where come from, where from, from what the community and from what territories. Um, okay, this is a gift that uh, you will find in uh, in uh, uh, in the slide. If you go to check uh, after this uh, this talk, you can uh, see also a video in Creative Commons for sure. Um, but now I have not the time to show our action in in, uh, in a video. Um, I want to explain a bit uh, the infrastructure. The infrastructure uh, is uh, based on uh, the human agreement and uh, uh, the, the group of uh, Campi Aperti started with uh, five uh, people in uh, an uh, uh, occupied space, uh, a public space, and, uh, and they started with a small market. After and after they grow it, and now there are uh, more than 150 farmers, and uh, with uh, 1,000 people that come at the market and are co-producer of, of the products. And um, so we manage ourselves by assemblies, and uh, we do and uh, we do the stuff with a consensus method. So the topic are uh, yeah, food autonomy, being dependent with, with the food, uh, safeguard uh, the territories, so practice agroecology, and um, we, shared, uh, uh, we have a shared warranty, so the group of farmers not take, uh, uh, not accept the um, the centralized warranty about uh, organic food uh, by the state, but they practice a shared warranty. Means that uh, everyone, every one of the producers uh, at the market, uh, take care of the product also of the others and, uh, uh, and uh, um, take care of the relationship. But this is also means that if you break, break the trust, one with the other, you go out from the community. And this uh, looks like difficult to decide, but uh, it's not so difficult, because when you are local and you know the products that, uh, that you grow and how are organic, uh, it's uh, easy to, to decide this stuff. It uh, looks like that uh, for to explain uh, some technical people is like uh, if uh, you not trust uh, the a certification authority, but uh, you based uh, you are based on uh, a web of trust, and. Um, so we include also in our relationship, in our uh, work, the sense of the limit and the mutualism. So we plan to not grow too much, but to grow only locally. And we divided the assembly. There are assembly for every market, that are eight every month. Uh, there are assembly uh, globally, all, all together, uh, every two months. And uh, assembly every two months um, locally for a valley. Uh, are based on uh, um, 
on a formal consensus, consensus method. Uh, this means that we, try, we trained us to stay in the consensus area. We know that the agreement are based in a, in a balance between a relationship and knowledge. Uh, we come uh, all of from a different knowledge because we are specialized in different stuff and we have to grow together our relationship. So we, can, we try to, stuff, to stay in this area of consensus knowing that we are different knowledge but I trust. We don't want to stay in anonymity. We, are, we don't want to stay always agree all together because there are a lot of risk in that, uh, in that uh, area. Uh, you can, uh, in this area, you grow the diversity. In that area, you are doing echo chambers and you, are doing, uh, uh, you can do easily mistake in the unanimity place. Uh, in the other, you find uh, low trust uh, and uh, different knowledge, so you are decent normally, and you f have uh, low relationship, so low trust, uh, but uh, a full agreement of uh, what you want for the future. The only stuff that you can do is uh, take a technical agreement together, so write really specific law, but we don't uh, laws, we want uh, agreement and a guideline. The other stuff are done by trust, one with the other. So, um, we are, we, I told you that we use a formal consensus method, means that uh, in this uh, distributed uh, meeting, we have uh, uh, shared agreements. We, we start with uh, uh, a base ground, that is that every assembly is reported. So at the beginning of every assembly, we choose a reporter, a reporter or more than one, because sometimes there are global, global assembly that start at the morning and finish in the evening. And, um, and so we have a timekeeper for, um, for the speaker, and uh, we decide to put in our, uh, in our agreement the right to listen and to be listened, and, uh, and uh, no meta conversation over the, the topic. Only everyone talk, speak for herself. Okay, we need to communicate, and when we started to think about the communication, we uh, speak with another community, another community uh, that uh, know better the stuff about the communication than us. And we found, uh, and we know, because uh, we um, shared the same, uh, the same uh, political idea um, with uh, ECK Meeting. ECK Meeting is a community in Italy that uh, is uh, anti-fascist, anti-racist and anti-sexist and uh, was uh, born uh, in the 90s, also that uh, community. And every year they, they meet uh, in a different uh, space, uh, occupied space uh, in Italy. They are for, uh, for the freedom in, uh, in uh, the communication and uh, with a view, a uh, critical view about technologies. So we asked and we discovered a lot of self-managed server and for, first, uh, for the first uh, tool that we implemented in the 2004 was our website. Uh, yeah. And uh, we started uh, with uh, a lot uh, of uh, mailing lists. The first tool was mailing list, and after to communicate outside in the group, uh, we started uh, with uh, this website hosted by Autistici Inventati, that is one of the older uh, um, self-managed server in, uh, in Italy, near us, uh, based uh, um, with a strong view about anonymity and uh, privacy oriented of, for the user. Um, the communication are really, really important in, um, in, um, in group that live in the countryside. You live uh, in different farm, uh, far from one from the other. And so uh, happened that uh, to use the mailing list, uh, uh, people need the connectivity. So um, what happened that if you base your connectivity on commercial uh, uh, companies uh, in the you are in countryside, you discover that uh, told you no, you are too far from uh, the city, and uh, we don't uh, earn uh, too much enough to bring to you connectivity. And uh, so we started to uh, explore 
explore uh, how to resolve uh, this problem, and uh, we discovered that uh, exists uh, yet a community that uh, thought to this stuff, and uh, that uh, yet exists a Pico Peer agreement, and in Italy we meet uh, uh, Linux, Linux uh, community that uh, are based that are. Um, that uh, shared us and uh, teach us how to set a mesh uh, network. Um, and so I show you a bit of photograph. Our infrastructure uh, is uh, small and uh, grow really slowly. And uh, is based uh, the, our hardware are uh, 15 people that uh, want to uh, uh, stay connected one with the other and understood that uh, broad broadcasting connection is nice, is really lighter, use uh, uh, 5 gigahertz point-to-point -point antenna to do a uh, point-to-point connection. And, uh, mm, and uh, so the cost to stay, to learn and uh, to, um, to do and maintain that, uh, that um, network is, uh, is uh, an effort that they can do. And we found also for people, tec more technicians, that help. It's like uh, uh, help to install uh, Linux, but uh, here we install uh, OpenVRT. And, uh, uh, and after the people know how to maintain and take care their in freedom, their PC, and in this case, antenna. Uh, we use uh, also proprietary hardware that we change the firmware, and we use TP-Link Ubiquiti, what, but we are switching to an open uh, hardware project that is uh, Libre Router. And uh, uh, as uh, software, we use uh, Libre Mesh, LibreMesh.org, that is a project uh, that is a bundle of configuration open uh, over open VRT and, uh, and that use a different protocol uh, like uh, Bubble, uh, Bubble D and uh, Batman ADV. Uh, but yeah, the, the topic of them is make easier the stuff for the user and they do. So, uh, we have a blog, antennine.noblogs.org, uh, where we take uh, the documentation of this stuff. We think a lot uh, about uh, uh, technology, also think uh, why we are adopt uh, technology. Uh, and uh, so we started to deploy a feminist view about technologies. Uh, means that uh, I f we think so that uh, uh, every technology is an effort. When uh, some, someone told to you that uh, this technology is smart, some, some time is because not, is not considering, is considering the entire cycle of life of that uh, technology. Uh, and so, uh, looking uh, a lot uh, in the technologies that uh, every, everyone at uh, this moment is uh, doing uh, uh, advertisement about technologies, hey, use this, is easy. Uh, we think, okay, no, stop, stop is better wait and think what we are doing. So we think that it's important not to do the things alone because um, uh, you became the point of failure of your, of your community. To be resistant, you need to do the stuff with uh, more people, not start if you are alone, and, uh, and um, mix proficient people with newbies. Um, contemplate the possibility of making mistakes and so uh, build a testing environment before uh, put the stuff in production. Uh, document everything to explain the choice that you took and uh, give the time to yourself and to the other to study and not to be m too much specialized. Specialized brings people too easy easily to go to burn, to burn out. It's better if you uh, trust uh, yourself in more than one topic and, uh, and, um, and uh, share knowledge with the other, not to go too much in deep in uh, one topic because you lost uh, the entire view and why you are doing something. Um, you are not paid for those, this stuff for community. It's a need for community and there's a richness for every one of your community. For, for in our in our view in our way that we do the stuff uh, so uh, we start from our needs 
we started to speak about our digital data in 2016. Uh, this is a meeting of Genuino Clandestino, that is the bigger network of uh, self-organized farmers in Italy. And uh, there are a lot of different small communities that, uh, do, that grow vegetable and do direct sell in a shared public space. And uh, we started to speak about our digital data, and uh, we decided that we don't want to put uh, in uh, Google, Amazon, Facebook, uh, Microsoft, Apple space. We are anti-GAFAM, uh, because we are against a big distribution of the food and also big distribution of the data. We think so that uh, in, this, uh, in this moment it's really important to take care of our intimacies and our data. So we decided to put in a server and to run ourselves these services. And we spent one, one year to find a, a virtual private server, a vir yeah, virtual private server, uh, someone that host our, our digital place that uh, shared with us our policy. And we found in France, in Toulouse, the tetaneutral.net that uh, is uh, inside of a bigger network that is uh, federated France data network and uh, are really important for us because uh, they, I think that they do a good work because they are for net neutrality, for freedom of access to the internet and uh, with a budget based on donation of the community. Um, we we spent a lot of time to find inside our community of farmers, sysadmin, and we found, and we started to use Nextcloud uh, as a free software to where host our data. And we decided to start, we started in, the, in March uh, of this year, and we decided to start to use only for administrative work, um, so only for 10 people of the group, and after decide if uh, this tool is okay for our needs or not. If it's not, we will, uh, we will see, and we are, we are just in time to go back and not use. But at the moment, uh, the stuff uh, are running good, and we are uh, mm, store in this, uh, in this cloud the cards about uh, our, uh, our farmers. Uh, because um, we make everyone to enter in uh, Campi Aperti need to be visited by another farmer and uh, that uh, for, to know the, um, how they grow vegetable and how they do organic stuff. And so we write uh, dossier of ourselves, and it's why the website was not uh, more enough. We need uh, a private uh, place where sto store this stuff, also to decentralize the task that we have uh, to do, to distribute the task. And so, uh, after this uh, one year of testing, we are planning how to, to grow. Okay, if uh, all the stuff are going good, we decide how to grow. And so, again, uh, we decide to not do this stuff alone. We look around in a, a community near to us, and we decide again to, um, to adopt something that uh, is yet used by a community that is uh, anti-fascist, anti-racist, and uh, anti-sexist, that uh, is uh, autistic inventity. They changed the infrastructure this year, and uh, uh, they moved in a contene containerized container infrastructure um, to, um, um, yeah, to have uh, divided uh, the configuration the specific configuration, the configuration that you can share with others, and uh, the software. Um, all these three, these, these three stuff are managed by a minimalistic orchestrator container uh, that is called the Float. And uh, we find uh, this uh, solution uh, interesting, also because uh, we studied a bit uh, the other uh, the other possibility of a solution. And uh, um, 
and we we saw that uh, in in this moment there are a huge uh, uh, huge software also open source that can uh, resolve this problem but developed and used by huge uh, open source company that uh, not really fit uh, our needs so we are interesting in uh, this software because uh, give a static service allocation like some of these features look like not real uh, are non-feature for the needs of the companies, but for us are, um, because uh, we have a community, so we have, we have different needs. Um, so how, how it works quickly, because yeah, we are at the CCC, I have to show you something of technical. Uh, so we have a specific and generic configuration that we versioning with Git. We use Ansible for to versioning our configuration. And uh, um, the software, so the generic part, uh, is uh, built by the continuous integration that we have on uh, Autistic Inventity. Uh, that is built in, a, we have a Docker registry and, is, and build the Docker image. And so Float uh, deployed, running our Ansible playbook, deploy the different uh, Docker image on uh, the different machine. So, what, why it's good for us? Because uh, uh, we, are, we can versioning all the stuff, so we can also do mistake but uh, go back, and we can uh, deploy on a virtual machine where we can uh, do testing and uh, on the real uh, on the real um, and in production on the real machine. Um, uh, this uh, this is, I think. So. Um, why we want things to adopt? Also because we want not to use, uh, we don't want to stay on a virtual machine, we would like to move on bare metal. And we trust the group, uh, this, uh, this orchestrator is only one, it's 1,000 line of uh, Python code, and uh, it's written like, a, it's written is a Ansible plugin. And uh, can, uh, we can use uh, double, authent uh, double factor authentication, universal two factor authentication, that is good for us because uh, mm, you have the stuff that your security is based, can, could be based on a hardware token. So you have a security in something of local that you have to keep. And, um, and uh, in some integrated monitoring uh, like uh, Prometheus. Uh, Prometheus and Grafana. And uh, this feature, non feature or feature is that the services go down when something fails. And this is, for us, is important. We are not a company that have to stay 24 hours up, but we are a, a community that want to know if uh, something go wrong with your machine and if some, someone put physically the hands on your machine. And uh, yeah. This is now is the time of the question. Um, slow, please, the question because uh, I don't speak I don't speak really well English. You <laughs> you see now, but also I don't understand really well. And uh, this is the long list of uh, thanks and uh, all the community that uh, I I speak about. There is also Eclectic Tech Carnival that is a feminist community that uh, pushed a lot to me to uh, and to arrive here to explain uh, this uh, stuff to you. And uh, thanks. Thank you very much for the great talk. It was very, very interesting. We still have 10 minutes for questions and answers. So if you have questions, just move to the three microphones in the room, and then we're going to have you ask your questions. So we start with microphone number two. Very slow in English, please. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you very much for the talk. Um, I have a question. The customers, um, do they pay in advance for a year, or do they pay at the market? OK. Uh, in Bologna, in mm -hmm. Campi Aperti, the experience is a direct sell in the market. So uh, the co-producer, the consumer, 
pay at the moment. But uh, we know that this is not uh, the perfect model and there are uh, other, ex uh, other experiments in the city in which uh, Campi Aperti and uh, this group of farmers is, in is in involved. And so there is also uh, mm, uh, Arvaya, that is another group that uh, um, the consumer pay ad in advance and, uh, and have a place uh, and also work in fields and uh, take uh, boxes uh, every week. And there is also another uh, project that is Camilla and uh, is uh, based on uh, um, you are, uh, you are associated and you have to work uh, uh, three hours every month in a market and uh, uh, there is uh, this market open for all the association, all, all the people associated to this. So uh, it's a city that is experimented, but yeah, for Campi Aperti you, you not pay in advance, only for in other projects. Uh, is it okay if I ask something else? If it's well, I would first take microphone number three, but if you just stay there, I feel like there would be still time for another question. So, microphone number three, please. Uh, yes, I have a question about consensus. Um, uh, you mentioned that uh, some level of disagreement is uh, not only acceptable but maybe good, because if everyone agrees, then there's no discussion, development, and less trust. At what level of disagreement is acceptable? Have you tried different models, like how you, how you achieve this consensus? Yeah, we think that uh, disagreement is important to, ex uh, to not hide the problems. So also we put attention to not uh, say at the end of a, converse a conversation we are all agree, but for, but for example, if uh, someone have uh, more Dub. And, um, and uh, we have a formal way of consensus, so um, to be sure that we are all agree, we do an orientation, we know, we call it, and that means that you can divide the group in a free position, uh, active consent, consens, uh, consensus with uh, with uh, Dubs, but uh, uh, that uh, you, you think so that the trust uh, is enough, so you are agree, but you will, will be not uh, active to do the stuff. And the uh, active dissensus, that means that uh, the decision the, that are you taking is against uh, the principle, and uh, if you put yourself in that position, you have to explain uh, to all the others, and uh, uh, you have to do again an orientation. But uh, if you are more than 20% of the people that stay in uh, active dissent, you, you have to rediscuss re all. So it became a block, blocked. Great, thanks for the explanation. That was very interesting. Microphone number two again. Thank you for your talk. Um, I wanted to ask whether you have any mechanism to help people that want to become farmers, especially to acquire new, new land. Hmm. Existed a, a project and now it's not more active. We are sad because it's not more active. Uh, and uh, because this, uh, this project uh, started from people that had this need and after they found land, and say, okay, we have not more the time, and we have uh, we not find uh, again who put the the time uh, in that project, um, and so mm, there is not a, a real um, mm, a process in uh, which we help people to become a farmer. But, uh, for example, the mailing list is open. Everyone that participated to the market can, be, can join the mailing list and also the assembly, and the meeting. And so happen a lot of time that people ask for a space in countryside, in countryside and so find information. And the other stuff that really change uh, really change, uh, make the, the change, is that a lot of people come in Campi Aperti asking, asking 
to do transformation, to, do only tra to transform only the food. And uh, this fact uh, is not uh, acceptable in uh, Campi Aperti. I, the people are not, uh, can only transform the food. You, we, are, we do practice for being independent from capitalism for uh, our food, and so you can task only to transform. Uh, and uh, so, they, we, to, so we ask to the, these people to start a project to grow vegetables and become uh, a farmer. And, uh, and so, or, or started an active collaboration with uh, a group of farmer, or a, a farm that uh, yet exists. And, uh, and so, in this way, started uh, more people to live in countryside. Thank you very much. Next up, we have a question from the internet. Um, yeah, okay. You seem to have gone really far in doing a lot of things yourself. Do you still rely on a lot of mainstream technologies, or did you re-implement everything yourself? Is, is everything self-made, or do you still rely on some mainstream technologies? Is there something that you use that is mainstream capitalist that everybody else uses too? Like, you mentioned that you don't use Google or mm -hmm. Facebook ah, or something, okay. but apart from that, is there something mainstream that you still use, that you rely on? Yeah, we are not monopolistic. <laughs> like, uh, we, um, we have uh, the, base, the base communication, the basic communication in uh, independent infrastructure. But yes, yeah, some of them are, we are not direct uh, running uh, autistici. We are based on uh, self-managed server. So sim community that uh, shared with us uh, uh, political uh, topic. Uh, but in that way, not, we are not the, f the, the running the service. We are not running the service. Uh, to communicate, we use uh, the website so, and uh, the mailing list, so we have uh, our independent communication, but uh, there is not, uh, um, we not avoid people of us that use also, um, also commercial uh, instrument or commercial social network. Uh, all is, the stuff is only that, uh, we don't uh, trust too much that uh, that uh, way of communication will be really useful when uh, when we need. <laughs> or All right. Another question from microphone number two, please. Hi. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, in your um, presentation, you mentioned dossier written by uh, farmers about other farmers uh, and farmers visiting other farmers. I wanted to ask, this, this uh, dossier, what kind of uh, information do they collect uh, and how are they used? Uh, I mean, what's the purpose of the dossier and uh, what information do they collect? Okay. Uh, is uh, the protocol of uh, uh, shared warranty. And so... Um, uh, a person that want to enter in uh, Campi Aperti uh, from the website can ask to be visit and start to uh, to fill a form and fill these uh, dossier, these cards. And uh, after these cards uh, go to the people to the assembly of uh, that valley, the, the valley where uh, this farmer came from and uh, uh, decide when to do the visit. Uh, so this visit is uh, reported to the next uh, assembly, and uh, uh, the, who did the visit say what uh, this uh, person uh, wrote uh, in, uh, the, in the card is uh, true or not uh, true. And so also here you have a... Mm, you, mm, you have a, the weight of a trust, yeah, of the how much trust the, the words uh, of uh, a person that asks to enter, and uh, um, and we store this um, this uh, this uh, card, this dossier, and we print and we print and we put physically on the desk when uh, people do the market, because it's really important that uh, people that come to buy the stuff know where. Uh, no, and if I want to go also to visit the producer. And uh, also because I told you that uh, some of that uh, um, organic stuff uh, 
are organic, but not with the certification by the state. And uh, also a lot of that uh, stuff that are transformed are inside of the campaign Genuino Clandestino. That means that are transformed, handmade, but out of the law. Okay. And so you need that people are well informed who buy the stuff. Okay, so is sorry, only... sorry, we, I'm very sorry, but we don't have time for uh, uh, backup questions. Also, I'm very sorry, I would have loved to have the person who asked the first question also have like asked the last question, but we ran out of time. Uh, but I'm sure that you can still catch Andrea after the talk and ask whatever questions were not answered. So, first of all, thanks for all of your very interesting and clever questions. And also, thank you very much, Andrea, for the great presentation. Please give another big, warm round of applause for Andrea. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steve.